What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Fantasy Fellowship channel. My name is Kyle. It's August 9th. Uh, we're going to be going over the ADP risers and fallers from the past seven days. We're going to be looking at underdog, drafters, and draft kings. Now, these are all best ball ADPs, uh, but it does give you an accurate uh, you know, lay the landscape on who's moving up boards and who's moving down boards. Uh, here I am in a screen share right now for you guys. Uh, this is all available on the fantasyfellowship.com. There's links in the description. I'm probably going to post some links in the comments for you guys. But uh, we're going to start with underdog first here. And again, underdog's half PPR. And at the top of the risers list here, you have rookie wide receiver Jalen Hyatt. He's up 23.7 spots. He's up two rounds. His ADP bottomed out at about pick 200, and now he's up a good two rounds. And honestly, I, I think this is still – this is a little bit people chasing some some camp highlights. He had two nice camp highlights with the ones, uh, but from what I've seen in the number of catches with the ones here, Jalen Hyatt's still not really – a, a, a strong player in this offense. He's going to be a complimentary piece that could get more work as the season goes on here. So I wouldn't chase Jalen Hyatt up the boards. I would chase rookie Marvin Mims up the boards though. Cause now that Tim Patrick is out of the way, Mims is going to be on the field a lot as a third wide receiver for the Broncos. He's up over 13 picks now, a top 150 player. I love him a lot. He's going to outperform his wide receiver 68 ADP. So I like moving on Mims, uh, probably pumping the brakes on Hyatt. Justin Ross. I mean, last week, if you watched this video, the, the Chiefs receivers were in the top five of the risers list. And now just Justin Ross is available up here now. And he's up about 12.4 picks. He's going 183rd overall wide receiver 78. We're still not sure if he's going to make the team. The Chiefs have a lot of guys and it really depends on the health of Kadarius Tony. So at the bottom of the list is, you know, Justin Ross, Richie James and uh, and uh, Justin Watson trying to make the team for the final one or two spots. So we'll see. I do. If I get him a home stack going, I do like Justin Ross. We're probably not going to be worried about Justin Ross in our redraft leagues, though, maybe in the waiver wire. Gus Edwards moving up boards as the J.K. Dobbins PUP list camp holdout continues. He's up 8.5 spots. Hunter Henry, one of the best tight end values in fantasy drafts right now, going as tight end 27 off the board. He's up 7.6 spots. He's one of my favorite guys to target. It sounds like he's been the number one target for Matt Jones with the ones uh, this season. And if I find myself, if I'm going to draft a Patriot, it's usually Hunter Henry real late. Uh, my other favorite tight end that's moving up boards now in the top 200 is Dallas second year tight end Jake Ferguson, up 7.3 spots. I know Luke Shoemaker's back, but it seems like uh, Ferguson has the – he's got the number one tight end spot locked up. And if he gets a, a little bit of what Dalton Schultz has been getting the last few years, he's going to pay off dividends. Uh, Kareem Hunt, we're not sure if he's going to sign with the Saints. He did leave the Colts today without signing a deal, so he might be on his way to Arizona. I think that's probably his likely landing spot, but he's up about six spots. Chase Claypool up about six spots. Rookie tight ends are on the move. Sam Laporta and Dalton Kincaid up both about five or six spots. Uh, Kincaid's a top 12 tight end now in ADP, and Laporta is a solid tight end too. I like both guys here. Uh, but Kincaid, man, I was in a draft and he went 101st overall, which we're starting to kind of top out at, I think, at his ceiling here. Raheem Mostert, the longer that Dalvin Cook is not a Miami Dolphin, the more Raheem Mostert, Jeff Wilson, and Devon A. Chain's ADPs will continue to rise. So keep that in mind. Uh, Darius Slayton, I, I mean, I'd rather have Darius Slayton on my fantasy team than Jalen Hyatt. And Hyatt's ADP has slingshotted him two rounds. So Slayton's a starter. Hyatt's, he's going to be working, you know, as the wide receiver four or five. Uh, Tank Bigsby. Continues to move up boards. He's now a an 11th round pick, up 4.3 spots here at, at, at pick 131. He's RB44 off the board. I really like Tank Bigsby. He's one of my favorite rookies to put on my bench. DJ Chark, he's been the winner for the Carolina Panthers in training camp so far. He's been their most uh, highlighted receiver in all the videos and the training camp sessions that I've seen. He's uh, He's been continually moving up boards, and he's probably the number one receiver for Bryce Young here. He's up 4.3 spots. Zay Flowers continues his rise now. He's peaking into the seventh round on best ball drafts here. So if you can get him in your redraft leagues in the ninth or tenth round, please do so. Terrace Marshall also moving up boards up four spots. John Mechie, Devontae Parker, Darren Waller, and then Javante Williams continues moving up. He's now a seventh round pick. Two weeks ago, Dude was a ninth round pick, so it looks like the ship has sailed. Uh, more rookie tight end love with Luke Musgrave moving up a few spots. James Cook is now some of the other sites. He's a seventh round pick, but he's a solid eighth round pick right here on underdog. Deion Jackson, Sky Moore, Nicole Hardman. Just some of your guys moving up the boards. Let's go take a peek at some of the biggest fallers on underdog here. 
Number one is Tyquan Thornton. I think we can cross him off our boards as a, as a sleeper. He's just not sticking out in camp for the Patriots. And to be honest, it sounds like none of the receivers are sticking out. Uh, Demario Douglas, the seventh round rookie, is the one that keeps popping up. So cross Tyquan Thornton off your list. Uh, same thing with Ty Chandler. He's just not exciting anybody in camp right now. The number two spot behind Alexander Madison is a complete open uh, spot right now, whether it's Kenny Nwangu, Ty Chandler, Dwayne McBride, there's going to be a rotation at that RB2 spot. And I'm not ruling out the Vikings signing a guy like Kareem Hunter, Leonard Fournette. Mike Kosicki is the backup to Hunter Henry, so he should be falling here. Kadarius Tony continues his tumble down another seven spots. Juwan Johnson's falling, and that's because they did sign Jimmy Graham. They have Taysom Hill. They have Foster Moreau. So I, I don't mind grabbing Juwan Johnson. I think he's going to finish probably as a top 20 tight end. And then I don't get why Trey McBride's falling down about six spots here after pick 200, tight end 28. I think he's a starter for most of the season for the Cardinals. J.K. Dobbins continues to tumble, but uh, John Harbaugh did say he expects J.K. Dobbins back soon. I've been buying a lot of J.K. Dobbins, and actually his, his ADP on underdog is fine. He's at 68 on drafters and DraftKings. The dude's in the 90s or 80s, so I, I like Dobbins on the dip right now. Other guys falling, Kyler Murray, Okonkwo, Rashid Shahid with that hamstring. Elijah Mitchell just can't stay healthy. You got Rashawn Johnson tumbling a little bit. I'll take some shares there at him at, at lower prices. Stafford, Lazard, Traylon Burks, his, bob his bottom is probably in. He's a decent seventh, eighth round pick. Uh, Irv Smith falling makes no sense. Rondell Moore, Fournette, Dalvin Cook, these guys remain unsigned, and it's just causing a little bit of pause there. Uh, P. Ryan's falling as Javante moves up, uh, and then Damian Harris continues to fall uh, as James Cook moves up boards, as well as Latavius Murray. So just some risers and fallers there for you on underdog. Let me go over to Drafters, and Drafters is a full PPR website. Let's take a look here at the top risers over here. Jalen Hyatt again, another 21 picks. Marvin Mims, Justin Ross, the usual guys from the underdog one. Uh, but some new names here. Dalton Kincaid's a little bit higher here. He's up 10 spots. Richie James uh, on this list. He wasn't on the last list. And then Hunter Henry continuing to move up boards uh, across the formats here. Terrace Marshall Jr. John Mechie's a guy I've been taking a lot lately, as it really sounds like the Texans and CJ Stroud have been uh, connecting in camp. Brian Robinson Jr., the running back for Washington. I'm glad that he's on this list. And he's he's a ninth-round pick right now. He's one of my favorite running backs to take in the ninth round because he's going to get a lot of touches. I think he's a 1,000-yard back. Javante Williams on the move, Chase Claypool, Sam Laporta, Tank Bigsby, Gus Edwards, Raheem Mostert. Uh, you got Zay Flowers, Deion Jackson. That's because of the Jonathan Taylor news. But uh, James Cook, here he is. He's at 82.6 in full PPR formats. Uh, that's squarely in the seventh round now. Uh, Michael Wilson continues to move up boards, the exciting rookie for the Cardinals. Uh, there's Darius Slayton, Zamir White, Jake Ferguson, MVS. A lot of the same names that were on the underdog list here. Let me scroll on down to the biggest fallers here. Again, a lot of the same names. Thornton, Chandler, Dobbins, Jawan. There's Fournette. Jonathan Mingo falling. As more people click on DJ Chark. Uh, Elijah Mitchell getting hurt. Rashawn Johnson, kind of the number three back in the Chicago Bears system. Uh, we're kind of out on the, the Patriots backup. I still think they're going to sign someone, whether it's Zeke or Fournette. Uh, Kyle Pitts, though, down 5.8 spots. I, I think that's weird. You, you should be grabbing Kyle Pitts on the dip right now. Uh, Oconquo, Edwards Alaire, Rondell Moore. Again, Trey McBride falling here. Adam Thielen and Mingo both on the follower list as Chark rises. Jasicki falling here. Jonathan Taylor down about four spots. I think he's a fine third-round pick right now if you're drafting this weekend. Uh, but Bateman, Rashad Bateman, one of the biggest fallers here on drafters, he got back into camp today. He's off the pup list. So we're going to see Bateman probably on the risers list next week as his bottom is finally in. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, nothing really sticks out. Kadarius Tony starting to find a bottom here. It said he's going to be ready for week one. We shall see. Uh, Traylon Burks finding a bottom finally again in that seventh, eighth round range. And that's pretty much it. There's really nothing sticking out too much here. Uh, God, I don't know why Goddard's falling. Michael Gallup, Charbonnet, these guys should be all moving up boards. But uh, those are your biggest risers and fallers over on Drafters. And then we're going to finish up here with Draft Kings. And the biggest risers over here from the last seven days, the same guys. Marvin Mims, Jalen Hyatt, Justin Ross. There's Deion Jackson, who I'm not – like, I think the Colts – are going to get Jonathan Taylor in camp. And so I, I don't know if we should be buying these backup running backs from Colts. Kareem Hunt on the risers list here is interesting, up 10 spots. And again, I think with the Marlon Mack injury today, he tore his Achilles. Kareem Hunt's probably going to go check out the Arizona Cardinals situation and see what the kind of money they got for him. Uh, James Cook moving up. Board. He's the highest on DraftKings. He's at 79.06, up 10 spots almost 
Uh, I, I love James Cook, but I think I'm going to have to start cooling off on him as I've already packed my bags in the 80s and the 90s ADP. Uh, there's Laporta, Gus Edwards, Darren Waller moving up a lot on DraftKings. Hunter Henry, DJ Chark, Terrace Marshall, Claypool, Musgrave. Uh, Jamal Williams has the highest ADP over on DraftKings. Kendra Miller back up on the boards here. I don't think Kareem Hunt's going to sign there, so continue taking Jamal and Kendra. Uh, there's Ferguson, Tank Bigsby, Sky Moore, Javante Williams, Amir White. Again, a lot of these lists are rinse and repeat, uh, but it's interesting because, like, we just saw Charbonnet was a faller over on drafters, but here he is the riser on draft King. Same with uh, a couple other guys here at the bottom of the list, but uh, Sutton's moving up boards, Brian Robinson, Jr. Nico Collins continues moving up boards. I've actually seen Nico Collins go around pick 100 lately. So uh, David Montgomery also moving up boards here at the bottom of the draft Kings list fallers on the draft King. Again, a lot of similar names here. Taekwon Thornton, Rashid Shahid, Elijah Mitchell, both those guys are injured. Ty Chandler just not impressing. I don't know why Kyler Murray's falling on all the lists. He kind of peaked, you know, at ADP a couple of weeks ago, but I, I've been buying him as my QB two or three in best ball. Uh, again, I think J.K. Dobbins' bottom is in. Keep buying him in the seventh or eighth round. Uh, but Marquise Brown falling pretty hard. I've noticed that. He's, he's now a nice seventh round pick. You can get a wide receiver one for a, a not so good team, but he's still a wide receiver one. Uh, Juwan, Paris Campbell, Jasicki, again, a lot of the same names here. Uh, but you can take advantage of these. I, I think you want to be buying some of these names on the fallers list uh, because these are going to be the cheapest prices that we get. Like Dallas Goddard, give me him. Kyle Pitts, yes, I like the tight ends. I like Burks. I'm going to be buying a lot of these uh, these guys at the bottom of their ADPs. But there you go. That is the DraftKings, Drafters, and Underdog Best Ball ADP Risers and Fallers. Uh, we'll do this same video next Wednesday. That's when I upload all these ADPs. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your night. Peace.